It is a modified Yamaha DX100. So what I did is I took over the breath control and I added a switch that allows you to switch between the typical use of the mod wheel, which is to apply the LFO to whatever operators you're using, and if you switch it to the right, it actually takes the breath control signal that would come from a breath controller and use and reroute the voltage from the mod wheel to the breath controller input to the microprocessor. So what does this buy you? Well, what the mod wheel typically does is if we look at a waveform on the scope, we can see, okay, that's flute wood, uh, sound 317, and if we apply the, the mod wheel, it usually applies an LFO, and we can see that wiggling on the screen. But if I change it to something like, okay, BC sax, which is uh, sound number 318, I can see that it doesn't make any sound if I press the key, but if I switch it over, what I can then do is use the mod wheel to apply an ampli uh, amplitude adjustment to that. So okay, that's kind of interesting, but you can actually use this to get sort of modulation wheels, kind of like cutoff frequencies on an analog synthesizer, if you go in and you play with some of the sounds. So what I'm going to do is go to FM Sawtooth, and I'm going to edit that and what I'm going to do is turn off the middle two operators and since it's using algorithm 3 this just means I have operator 1 modulated by operator 4 and I'm going to um, basically apply an EG bias for the operators to maximum. Operator 4 is going to have an EG bias um, setting of 7 and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to change the breath control to give 99 control of the EG bias so what is the net effect of that? Well, we can see. So if I make that sound, you can see we get a sine wave. And then if I apply the mod wheel, I can turn it into something like a sawtooth. And so you get that kind of frequency sweep from the cutoff wheel. It's kind of like adjusting the cutoff frequency on an analog synthesizer. So you can be very expressive with the sounds you play. sweeps on chords. And that's the modified DX100, and I'm actually going to be selling this on eBay pretty soon.